How's everyone doing? Today I'm going to show you a video of my complete Criterion Collection Blu-rays and DVDs. I got an extra shelf for my bookcase so I was able to put a little bit more of my collection on here. And if you have any Criterion Collection recommendations for me that I should check out or pick up, definitely let me know. And let me know what you think of the Criterions I have as well. But let's go ahead and check out my Criterion Collection. And here we go. Right there, it's just uh, those three shelves. And if you've seen any of these movies, definitely let me know what you think of them as well. Take a closer look right here. I have a few ones that are kind of right up here on the tops, just because I don't have uh, proper room just yet for my whole collection. Uh, again, I've showed you, you know, I have that shelf right there, uh, those two shelves right there, and a bunch of stuff uh, on the floors. And there's my dog. That's my dog. And you know, I've got stacks right there, some stacks over there, uh, some stacks over here by the TV and everything, um, some more stacks right there, but then I have all the ones in my closet as well. And uh, yeah, I gotta figure out a good shelving situation. But let's go ahead and go to the Criterion Collections. That's what we're here for. But I'm gonna go ahead and take these ones out first. But here we go, here's a Maricord. Right there, very nice addition. Classic Fellini. But I'm not gonna go too in depth with each one of these just because it's gonna take a while. And then I have Chasing Amy. This is a movie that when I first saw it, I wasn't a big fan of, but then when I saw it recently, I really appreciated it. And I was able to get this signed by Joey Lauren Adams, who actually signed it, Finger Cuffs. I didn't think she was gonna sign that, but she did, which is pretty cool. If you've seen the movie, you know what that is in reference to. But very happy to be able to get it signed. And a uh, nice addition. And this does come with the comic book in here as well, which is hard to find now. A very emotionally honest movie about relationships. I think everybody played their parts very well. Everything was very believable. And then next up is Red Balloon right here, which is part of the Janus film collection right there, which I consider part of Criterion. It's uh, the same company right there. So I put that in there with my Criterions. And next up is Kicking and Screaming right here, a Noah Baumbach film. And then Dazed and Confused, I really love this edition right here. I have the DVD edition, and I still have the DVD edition, so if anyone wants to do a trade for the DVD edition, let me know. My DVD edition does uh, have a little bit of wear on this part right here down at the bottom, um, but that's how it came. But I was able to get this Blu-ray one in perfect condition. Renter and Linklaters, Dazed and Confused, classic, love it. Matthew McConaughey was uh, hilarious in this. Great performances all around. All right, let's get to the shelves right here. These are all Blu-rays on this top shelf. Jim Jarmusch's Mystery Train. Rosemary's Baby, one of my all-time favorite Criterion releases and a uh, personal favorite movie of mine as well. Something Wild, which is one of the few films in here that I, I could have a debate about it not being a Criterion collection. But still a decent film. I like Ray Liotta a lot in that film. Belle du Jour, uh, Catherine Devenel. Oh, stunning. A Hollis Frampton Odyssey. Charade, Cary Grant and Audrey Hepburn. Traffic, really enjoy this film. Great performances. And Don Cheadle is such an underrated actor in my opinion. Repulsion. Polanski right there. More Catherine Devenel right there. The Great Dictator right here. I love this cover. Charlie Chaplin as you flip it over. The Hitler stash right there. Classic. Naked. Anatomy of a Murder. Big James Stewart fan. Island of Lost Souls. For All Mankind. Walkabout. The Wages of Fear. Paris, Texas. The Game. Being John Malkovich. Eating Raul. One of the more colorful uh, covers right there. Quadrophenia. Now I had the DVD edition for this for ages and uh, I had it sealed up. I had moved and it was in a box. I just never got around to uh, opening it and uh, watching it. And 
I got it as a blind buy years ago for, you know, probably like 15 bucks or something like that. And it went out of print and I ended up selling the DVD for 70 bucks. And actually, there's a, it was going for like over 100. So I had priced it to sell, if you will. And right after that happened, this came out on Blu-ray. I was like, heck yes. So I finally picked it up. Very happy with that, actually. I'm very happy with uh, selling my old DVD for big money. And, <laughs> you know, it's crazy to think that people will pay so much money for these out-of-print ones. And, I, you know, $70 seems like a lot, but that was the lowest price out there for it at the time. Umberto D. Very touching. Harold and Maude. Uh, kind of a non-traditional relationship right there. Shallow Grave. Um, Old-school Danny Boyle right there. Insignificance, Lonesome, The Thin Red Line, Malik, Broadcast News, The Killing right here, Kubrick's The Killing, and it also has uh, 1955 noir feature Killer's Kiss from Stanley Kubrick with a restored high definition uh, digital transfer, so that's pretty cool. The Phantom Carriage. Corinoco, Orpheus, Jean Cocteau. Ah, oh, in the realm of the senses. Shot Corridor, Samuel Fuller. Down by Law, another uh, Jarmish film. Really like Jarmish. I would love to see Dead Man get a, a Criterion release. I think that's a really underrated uh, film and an underrated uh, Johnny Depp film. Probably my favorite Johnny Depp film out there. Uh, Jean Cocteau's Beauty and the Beast. Another Chaplin classic, The Gold Rush. Charlie Chaplin, Modern Times. And I think City Lights is finally getting a Criterion release. I've wanted to see City Lights on Criterion for ages now, so that's pretty cool. House. Days of Heaven, another Malick film. Beautiful film. Ride with the Devil and Ang Lee, classic in my opinion. Such an underrated film. Great war film as well. Absolutely love it. The cast did excellent. I'm not a big uh, Tobey Maguire fan, but he did really good in here as well. And uh, Jeffrey Wright was fantastic in here. And uh, you have uh, Jewel, the singer, in there as well. Darjeeling Limited, Wes Anderson. Might be my favorite Wes Anderson film, actually. That or Royal Tannenbaums. Letter Never Sent. Great uh, Russian surrealist film right here uh, by Mikhail uh, Kalatazov. Did a bunch of great films. Crumb. Great documentary. The Magician. Ingmar Bergman. Antichrist. Oh, visually stunning film from uh, uh, Lars von Trier. Kiss Me Deadly. One of my all-time favorite films by Robert Aldrich right here. Oh, love it. And I love that sci-fi... Uh, ending right there as well. Blowout, and I was able to get this signed by Nancy Allen right there, which is pretty cool. Great uh, De Palma film, John Lithgow, John Travolta, Nancy Allen, Seven Samurai, and this is a very nice addition right here, the Three Colors Trilogy. Gotta have some Kurosawa in there though, for uh, Seven Samurai. And then I'll go ahead and do these ones right here again. Downhill Racer with Redford, Gene Hackman, White Dog, which I really enjoy this film, Samuel Fuller film. And Science is Fiction, 23 films by Jean Penlev. This is uh, three discs in total right there. Some uh, pretty cool sci-fi shorts. And next up is uh, Wings of Desire, which uh, inspired uh, City of Angels, but this one is uh, very dramatic. On the Waterfront, one of my all-time favorite films as well. Oh, love this movie. Alien Kazan, um, Leonard Bernstein, fantastic score. Brando, great performance. I could have had class. I could have been a contender. I could have been somebody. Classic. Love, absolutely can't say enough great things about On the Waterfront. One of my all time favorite movies. Hunger, Steve McQueen, and uh, Fassbender. Secret Honor, which I think is a very underrated film, another Robert Altman film. And the performance in here is just incredible. It's basically 
all set in one in the White House, all set in one room, and it's just Richard uh, Nixon essentially, somebody playing Richard Nixon, and him just going kind of crazy and drinking. And I love that they didn't edit a lot of this because there's a part where he's you know yelling and fuming and he spits, and there's like a little piece of saliva that spits out, and you you see it for a second. And I'm like, oh, it's so gross, but it's so gritty and realistic, and it, you really feel the emotions there. This is a movie that just makes me want to drink, but I love it. Dead Ringers, Cronenberg. Mona Lisa, and then a couple uh, other films that I'm not sure that uh, really belong a Criterion per se. Um, some Michael Bay films, Armageddon, and The Rock. Decent action film, but just feels out of place uh, on the Criterion collection. All right, here are some more uh, Criterion Blu-rays, and this is the America Lost and Found, the BBS story box set right there and includes uh, Head, Easy Rider, Five Easy Pieces, Drive, he said, A Safe Place, The Last Picture Show, uh, The King of Marvin Gardens. Really nice box set. And Life During Wartime, Howard's End, Revanche, Lahane, great uh, modern black and white film. Robinson Crusoe on Mars, one of my all-time favorite uh, sci-fi films. The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. Chun King Express, this is the Digipack edition, which is pretty cool. Hard to find. There's the outer slipcase right there. Put that up there for a second. And really nice Digipack. And it has the booklet. Night of the Hunter. Oh, great performance from uh, Robert Mitchum. The Sweet Smell of Success. Some great performances in there from uh, Burt Lancaster and Tony Curtis. And now here are some more of my Criterion's uh, DVDs. The rest of these are all DVDs. Bicycle Thieves. And I really love how uh, these DVD sets, you know, include. Uh, you know, sometimes the, the novel or that the film's based on or the book or just a thicker booklet that sometimes the Blu-ray counterparts don't have, so I like that. Those thickies right there. Breathless from Godard. The Furies. There's a nice thick set right there as well. Right there, there's the novel. Pandora's Box, right there, Tulane Blacktop, the screenplay in there, Eyes Without a Face, I've heard this is going to get a Blu-ray release. I really like uh, the documentary on there as well, which is a, it's a short documentary from 1949, Blood of the Beasts. Uh, shows uh, slaughterhouses in Paris. And next up is The Ice Storm, which is another one of my favorite Ang Lee films. I heard this is getting a Blu-ray release as well from Criterion, so I definitely got to uh, upgrade for that one. I love the film. Insomnia, the original Insomnia, way better than Nolan's in my opinion. Nolan's remake. Uh, Under the Volcano. Bad Timing. Homicide. George Washington. Sweet movie. Uh, <laughs> crazy film. Uh, Sisters right there. Another uh, De Palma film. The Hidden Fortress. Another Kurosawa classic. Very influential. The Last Temptation of Christ. Port of Shadows. Love this movie. Oh. Paid a little bit uh, much for that one, but it was well worth it. I was very happy to find this for a good deal as well because I think this is out of print and goes for uh, pretty expensive, so I was happy to find it for a good deal. Branded Upon the Brain. Life of Brian. Solaris. The Blob. Matrice with um, Gerard Depardieu. And this is a Barbette Schroeder. Film as well. I like a lot of his work. 
Nas La Liberté. And this is Ingmar Bergman's uh, Scenes from a Marriage. F for Fake, Orson Welles. Night on Earth. Brief Encounter. Do the Right Thing. This movie just gets me so emotional, especially towards the end. Spear the Beehive. Love that film. And this is uh, the box set right here. Uh, Grey Gardens and uh, the Beals of Grey Gardens. And I'm going to try to go through the rest of these kind of fast. And next up is Vampire. Love this uh, movie, this edition. Very surreal. And a nice thick booklet as well. And next up is the box set uh, right here. Great Adaptations. And includes uh, the film's Great Expectations. Lord of the Flies, The Most Dangerous Game, and Oliver Twist. And just slides right out like that. There's the outer slip box. And then there is Oliver Twist, Lord of the Flies, The Most Dangerous Game, and Great Expectations. And I like the look of this box as well. It looks like a book from the side, which is pretty cool. Very fitting. Great adaptations. And next up, uh, Man Bites Dog. Love that film as well. Oh, just, just hilarious and dark. Sid and Nancy. This is another one where I'm glad they didn't edit a lot out. Uh, much like a Secret Honor uh, right here. And uh, there's a scene where uh, he's on the train. And um, Gary Oldman is, was fantastic in this, by the way. But Gary Oldman was on the train and he's just like snot bubbles coming out. It's just kind of gross, but makes you really feel... Uh, that gritty moment, that just, you know, emotional honesty in there. They're not holding anything back. Hoop Dreams, great basketball documentary. Salo, or the 100 Days of Sodom. Pretty gross. <laughs> I guess you can classify uh, Salo as a, kind of like a sick and twisted film, if you will. Uh, the Double Life of Veronique. Right there. Nice set. Videodrome, really love that, uh, Cronenberg. And if you take a, take it out right there, there he is, Long Live the New Flesh, with uh, the beta right there, beta look. Very trippy film, definitely a, a great Cronenberg film right there. And then there's uh, Shortcuts, another Robert Altman film. And there you go. Another nice thick set right there with a thick booklet. And Orson Welles' The Complete, Mr. Arkaden, a.k.a. Confidential Report, written and directed by Orson Welles. Very thick set right there. And it has the Mr. Arkaden novel. And next up is uh, Fishing with John, which is a very interesting TV show with uh, John Lurie. He goes on uh, different expeditions uh, with all kinds of different actors and directors. And Jar Jim Jarmusch is in there, Matt Dillon, Tom Waits, Dennis Hopper, uh, Willem Dafoe. Pretty interesting. Going fishing with John Lurie. And here we go, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. I love that slip cover as well. Robocop, very uh, violent action film uh, that I grew up on. Absolutely love that one. And the remaking it, which so many remakes lately. Silence of the Lambs, classic. The Royal Tannenbaums. I really love how that has that book design as well to the outer slipcase. Patriotism. Very nice set. And next up is Richard Linklater's Slacker. Love this movie. Very influential, especially to uh, Kevin Smith's Clerks. I think this is a movie if you want to become a filmmaker, you should definitely watch. Tanner 88, another Robert Altman film. A lot of Altman. Naked Lunch. Another Cronenberg film. Very trippy. Carnival of Souls. Rushmore. The Night Porter. Diabolique. Night and Fog. Very uh, rough, hard to watch honest documentary about the Holocaust. Clean Shaven. The Last Days of Disco. 
General Idiaman Dada, another uh, Barbette Schroeder film. Man, the people that film this, a lot of guts, especially considering you know who they're interviewing. Equinox. Merry Christmas, Mr. Lawrence with uh, David Bowie. Beastie Boys, the video anthology right there. My Own Private Idaho. Gus Van Zant. Nice thick edition as well. Uh, Vera Phoenix and Keanu Reeves. Mama Rosa. This was actually uh, banned in Italy for quite a while. Knife in the Water. Ron Polanski. And Brazil. This right here is the three disc edition right there. Great Terry Gilliam movie. Uh, it has the different cuts right here. It has the Love Conquers All version. Love that set and that movie. All right, just found a couple more in another spot. The Uninvited and Jubal. The Ballad of Narayama, the original. And Ministry of Fear from Fritz Lang. The Secret of the Grain. And Zatoichi, the Blind Swordsman box set right here. Quite possibly one of the best Criterion Collection releases ever. Absolutely love this release right here. It's a dual format Blu-ray and DVD edition. Uh, 25 films right there. The Blind Swordsman films, Zatoichi. And just a really nice edition as well. And it slides right out there like that. And there's the book in there and then where all the discs are housed. Great artwork as well. And uh, fantastic films. And I'm going to do a special unboxing video of this in the future because it definitely deserves it. Really nice box set. And if you like samurai films and things like that, uh, Zatoichi is definitely worth checking out. So there you go. There's my complete Criterion Collection overview, all of my Criterion Collection Blu-rays and DVDs. And if you have any recommendations for Criterion Collection releases that I should check out or pick up, definitely let me know. And if you've seen these movies, definitely let me know what you think of them as well. And let me know what you think of my Criterion Collection. Leave me a comment or video response down below. Hope everybody's doing well. Take care.